Hello, I'm Katherine Barber, and I'm an associate professor in the School of Education and Human Services at the University of St. Thomas in Houston. I am excited to share my Blackboard Exemplary Course Program award-winning course in this tour. Educational research and scholarly writing is a core course in our Master of Education program and is one of the first courses students take. It was designed for both educators and school counselors. In developing this course, I had four goals. To create an online course that is user-friendly for students with varying degrees of familiarity with technology. To integrate best practices in writing instruction with best practices in online instruction. To effectively use multimedia, visual elements, and diverse instructional strategies to appeal to students with various learning preferences. And to create a successful learning community. This tour will highlight some of the exemplary course practices I used to achieve these goals. The course was designed to be logical, intuitive, and user-friendly. Students begin the course on the announcements page, which is updated several times per week. In the introductory message, students are directed to a Start Here page. This contains an orientation video for the course, a link to the course syllabus, the course framework that is used throughout the course, and other introductory information. The Start Here page ends with a link to the first learning module. The course is organized into 14 learning modules. The learning modules page contains an overview of each learning module's objectives and assessments, with a link to the modules themselves. This gives students the big picture of the course. Within each module, an overview page presents what is new in the learning module and a reminder of what prior learning needs to be activated. Icons and text indicate various tasks at a glance. These icons recur throughout the learning modules. In addition, a single content folder within each learning module contains a wide variety of learning resources, videos, web links, peer review, etc., as well as assessments. Content is presented in the order in which students should complete the activities. Keeping in mind learners' attention spans, videos consist of mini-lectures, each typically less than 10 to 15 minutes. In addition, content is presented through multiple means of representation to accommodate different learning preferences. To assist with scaffolding and personalized instruction, most learning modules content folders include an additional resources folder. This folder contains a curated collection of websites and other resources about the topic of the learning module. Students are referred to these resources in the feedback they receive on assignments. For example, a student who needs more practice with grammar will be referred to the additional resources within a learning module devoted to this topic, as can be seen here. To build a learning community that models students' academic and professional communities, both synchronous and asynchronous student interaction and collaboration tasks are woven into the course design. Students meet with small writing support groups through Collaborate Ultra. They also share and give feedback on each other's pre-writing work through Discussion Board. And they conduct peer reviews. A checklist is used to set participation expectations and detailed assessment criteria are provided. Assessments are carefully aligned with the course objectives and outcomes, and all assessments are designed to mirror activities and tasks that students would complete in other academic courses and in their professional careers. Although all students are expected to achieve the same outcomes, I recognize that students begin the course at different places and therefore need to focus on different course objectives to different extents. Thus, the course uses a personal learning plan to inform assessment. The first half of the course walks students through the writing framework with a formative assignment with extensive formative feedback at each step in the writing process. The formative assignment culminates in an essay and a student-guided personal learning plan, seen here, which requires students to set their own goals for the second half of the course and develop an action plan. 
In the second half of the course, students go through the writing process again with a more complex writing assignment, with a summative assessment at the end. Students are later evaluated based on the extent to which they have worked on and accomplished their personal goals. The course relies on principles from Universal Design for Learning in order to ensure that learners can access and engage with the materials regardless of circumstances. Course policies and student support services are easy to find and detailed information about the professor, including my role, how students can contact me, etc., is provided. Perhaps most importantly, students have numerous opportunities to provide feedback throughout the course, including a midpoint survey and an anonymous course evaluation at the end of the course. By designing my course according to the ECP guidelines, I have improved not only students' experiences in the course, but also my own experience with this course. Rather than spending a lot of time on logistics and tech issues, I now spend most of my time in high quality interactions with students and providing feedback. Furthermore, my students engagement in the learning community has grown. The exemplary course program has been a great tool for both teaching and learning. Thank you for touring my course. I welcome any questions you might have.